suffer from withdrawals Ain't no escaping from the dress but shit goes too far What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl May Banks and welcome back to my channel and for today we are going to be doing the viral clean girl makeup look like this is about to be lit because I find it real funny how now it's like a thing when baby I've been doing the clean girl look for a very long time a lot of us girls have been doing that for a very long time especially during the summertime I want to keep my skin as fresh as possible no clogged pores like nobody got time to be putting five pounds of makeup so, you know i can embrace my natural beauty and enhance little things here and there most of the products i'm going to be using today is going to be linked in my description box down below in my amazon storefront it's a lot of things that i put when it comes to just like self-care hygiene hair products makeup products stationery spiritual products that i personally love and hopefully you'll love too it's okay if you don't you can definitely find things and alter them as, as you like but it's just some things that i use a lot on my channel and i wanted you guys to also have access to so again it will be linked down below and without further ado let's get started with this video the first step to the clean girl look is your skin because of the fact that you're not going to be covering most of it with foundation you need to make sure that your skin is nice prepped and glowy for the perfect type of base that you want to start with i've already shaved my face it is a part of my skincare routine depending on where i'm at when it comes to how my skin is reacting to either the weather or different types of products so you don't need to do it i just personally like to take that step because i have a lot of like peach fuzz that i like to get rid of and dead skin cells then i went in with an exfoliators cleanser which is from Freeman and I just rinsed my face off and I came here dry canvas. I'm gonna start off with my Neutrogena Hydro Gel Cream. Now this is what I use for my under eyes, especially in moments like this. Like I'm literally running on no sleep. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna say that, I, hold on. I feel like it works and I will continue using it. So I just like to rub that in and let the product sit under my eyes. I feel like the moment I use it, literally like minutes later, my eyes just feel more awake. Then, I'm actually going to go in with my Vaseline Sun and Pollution Protection. This is SPF 24. I've been trying to get into sunscreen lately and since I don't really like the sunscreens that they have, I just got this one to just like test it out. And so far I like it. I don't know if it's even doing anything, but to me, I feel like it is. I like to do circular motions on the forehead and then just like swipe it down the sides of my face. I feel like that's the best way to do it. I know that's Vaseline, but this Vaseline, like I remember there was this video that I did and I actually tagged Vaseline in it. And it's funny cause that was like clean girl makeup too if you really want to talk about it. But I tagged Vaseline and they dead responded. Did they sponsor me? No, but. I still a girl a girl could dream you know but i just like putting it on because it kind of gives me like a thick layer that just gradually dilutes throughout the day so that's what i like about it because it doesn't stay greasy like it gives me that like nice dewy look and i feel like it really blends in well with like the products that i put on my face you can use your favorite moisturizer serum oil usually i use coconut oil or like a face serum but i don't have that right now so that's why i'm using this for a clean girl look though you can't have a bold brow like you have to find a way to have like a very nice natural looking brow so there's two things that i like to do one already have my eyebrows done which is like this and i probably fill in a little bit and i just conceal or what I like to do is, because lately I've been just like brushing my brows up. Usually I do this with um, got to be spray or like a gel because I feel like it'll stay. But right now I'm just doing it with the Vaseline. And I'm just going to brush them up and just like shake them how I want to kind of give that like, you see? you see? Brushing them up also just helps you see where you need to fill in like it shows you the gaps you know it shows you how your hair is looking and this one definitely got some gaps nika k 
New York. And this is just like a regular like drugstore eyebrow pencil, small strokes. And now the thing is, right? You see that? Such small little strokes made a big difference. I'm gonna take my concealer. This is the HD Concealer and Foundation. And this is basically the same thing as like the Pro Concealers, the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I really do love that concealer. It's so affordable and it just works. Like that formula just works. So sometimes what I like to do is bring it down to the lid because it really does make a difference. Like I'm gonna show you right now. This side, I just feel like looks more even and this side just this part you can see the discoloration like you see the discoloration on the lid and then here versus this is more even throughout i have this perfection bb cream from nk beauty nk makeup and i'm going to place that like on the outer corner of my under eye the lighter concealer and the inner corner of my under eye that way it creates like a gradient put it down the bridge of my nose and i also like to go around my upper lip area already we look snatched only a little bit of contour because this is what brings in that color and makes you look like you really beat your face but you didn't <laughs> That's what I like. So I like using my Morphe palette. It's right here. Again, this is also going to be linked down below in my Amazon front under my favorite makeup products. So I'm going to go in with just these two right here. And I just like to tap it together and then just tap. And then do circular motions. Like long circular motions. And already you can see, look. Already you can see that like color come in since it's kind of like round but angled in a way. I use it to go down the bridge of my nose. So I just go down like this. The other side. Now you gotta be careful with the blush because the blush could really like make or break i use like these colors right here i use like this like reddish pinky color but for today i'm just gonna be using the two orangey colors i like to use my fingers to just then i go on my blender and just like really just press that in to dilute anything that you feel is too much, whatever. You can put on lashes, like a very natural lash, or you can just do heavy layers of mascara. I like to just put a little bit of Vaseline on my lashes beforehand because it just glides better when I put on the mascara. You know, just take your time with this. I usually just coat them and I like brush them side to side. And I blink into the brush. Like I will put the brush, I, I like the side to side zigzag motion is to just get the hair stuck on the brush and then I blink down, like forcing the hairs through the mascara brush instead of forcing the mascara brush through the hair if that makes sense i'm trying my best here okay carefully because we don't want like that smudgy look on other on other occasions yes we like the smudgy on this side but with this look we want to keep everything as clean as possible we want to make it look like we don't got nothing at all like baby I woke up like this. The funny part is, is like, this is just your face. You're All you're doing is just like grooming it in a sense, you know? Another thing I like to do, like very small things, is just like taking my eyeliner and just kind of creating like this baby wing effect. 
this helps my eyes just look a little bit. Look at that already. Just makes them look cute. So. I just do a little line like that. And I just use my finger to just smudge it out how I like. And it just creates small things like that. Just very small things like that. Like just makes a difference. Having like a nice neutral lip color really ties this look together a lot. NYX Butter Gloss. I love these glosses so much. I got these for my birthday and ever since then I've just been in love. This one I feel like I can use it for like outlining my lips. But the other gloss that I had, I forgot what the name was. I think it's like creme brulee or something. This is Ginger Snap. And yo, I fell in love with that other gloss. Like for my lips, like just all throughout. But this one, I'll use it for just lining them. So. Lips looking big and beautiful. This lip gloss alone. If you're just like a lip gloss girl, you get your eyebrows done and you throw on some mascara, like you can easily do the clean girl look. You just put, if you want to put a little bit of concealer under your eye to make yourself look more awake, that's all it is. So this is it. This is the clean girl look. Now, another small, small things that can really make a difference, your hair. I learned that having really tight hairstyles, you feel me, like really just helps, look at that, bring the face up. Now, since I have shaved sides, that kind of changes things. So I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do because what am I doing? Here is a tip for you guys. You don't have gel. It's a good gel replacement. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope that you guys get to achieve your clean girl look or whatever. Because it's cute, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing this for a couple years now. And I love the fact that it's becoming a thing now, I guess, because it's just very, not only is it just simple and cute, but it's also like confident boosting, you know, because it's not too much. It's just emphasizing what's already there. And, you know, don't forget that you guys are freaking beautiful people, beautiful souls. Stay blessed. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. She playing game for lately. I've been feeling neutral. My head exploding, feeling like I'm Jimmy Neutron.